Connecting the Brazos Valley. This is KRHD News. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Hallie Jones. A new state bill signed into law will change the way many Texans care for their pets. KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler breaks down the legislation and its implications. Starting today for the state of Texas, dogs now have new legal protections in terms of their safety and well-being. After years of animal rights advocates pushing for changes, Texas Senate Bill 5 is now officially operational as a law. Signed by Governor Abbott back in October, the law is enacted today, essentially barring pet owners from chaining their dogs or leaving the animals outside in storms. The biggest changes that we're seeing with this law are one, the requirement of shelter, and particularly the requirement for the type of shelter that, it, that you have to have. And it means that the animal, in this case, the new law requires that the animal has a shelter that they can stand in, sit up in, turn around in. Sergeant Chris Fraley oversees the Animal Control Unit for the Brazos County Sheriff's Office. He and his colleagues will be enforcing the law, which is considered a Class C misdemeanor punishable by up to $500 in fines. But the first step for Fraley won't necessarily be a slew of arrests. Rather, it will be teaching opportunities. You know, our goal, though, is not just to go out and, and heavily enforce. We want to educate the community. You know, we want, hey, this is what the law is, this is what the law requires, and this is what our expectations are. And after we've spoken to people and try to educate them, if we don't gain compliance, then, you know, they'll, they'll be enforced. Animal rights advocates such as Fraley and local nonprofit leader Judy Launez say that many people who neglect their dogs are not doing so intentionally. The new law does permit dogs to be tied with certain materials and to be kept outside if adequate shelter from inclement weather is available. You can, you know, put these into the ground and you've got the lead here, the tie out, or you can run the trolley system. Launas has worked with Brazos Valley Congress members, such as Representative John Rainey, to ensure their vote in support of the bill. While Launas would ultimately like to see dogs untethered completely, she feels this legislation is a step in the right direction, giving officers more structure in their enforcement. That's why I love this bill, because it's so tightly defined about what you can use and cannot use to tether your dog or to keep it in. If you'd like to read that law in full, we'll provide you with a link on our website at krhdnews.com. Reporting in Bryan, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News. 